Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. I have done a fair bit of mining in between these episodes and so I've got a nice amount of resources. I should have enough to get started on building some processing for the ores. First, I want to upgrade this. I'll be using it a bit when I do, so I may as well make it a bit more efficient. There we go, nice iron furnace, which, if you know, takes, it uses only three, uh, um, instead of eight items per coal, it does ten items per coal. Very useful. And I've got some stuff. Yes. Right, so also what I want to make is upgrade to my crafting table here. So I need a chest and something else. So I'll be right back when I get there. Right, so I got what I needed. And I need another crafting table. Let's go there, there. Need some wood. And some stone. Smooth stone. Gets you the project table. Which is very useful. There we go. Now I can easily make recipes and all that cool stuff. Now I just need to smelt up some more metals. And let me just do that. I'll also expand a bit of room so I can have some space to put down my machines once I make them. Huge vein of appetite. If you don't know, it's changed. If you know what it is, and you've used it before, you probably also know that it's been changed in the way it spawns. So it's in, instead of finding lots of little bits of it, you now find big, huge chunks of it. Hey, it also gives multiple drops. Yeah, plenty of experience too. It's not happy.
Right, so it turns out that I need glass for what I'm doing. So which means I have to go find a desert or a beach or something out there. Anything that's yeah, cracked sand. Can I use cracked sand? Cracked sand can be used to do what? Ah, crack sand with a water bucket makes sand. Simple as that. And just have any water. I should make an infinite water source at home, which means I need to go find some water as well. Which means I need buckets. Yeah. So many things that are needed. Alright. I, I actually have two buckets. Not oh, handy. Alright, I'll need to crack sand over there and dig it up. Actually, some little pools over this way, which I can use. Oh, with some chickens. I'll take your eggs. Very useful. Some coal, always useful as well. Alright, and a bit of a missing chunk. Get that a lot and feed the beasts I found. Uh, not much you can do about it, but I've been just restarting. Resetting your game, that is. I mean, you're not permanent. Really. That's a little annoyance. It's okay though, because I don't actually get to go that way. Right, I will still get some water, because I may need that in the future. I just collect a whole heap more sand, cook it up at home, and then we can get started on actually making some machines. Okay, I'm back and I've got what I need, I think. We hope. Let's make the first thing is a pulverizer. Okay, we're doing that. So I need all these things. So this thing is fairly simple. Oh, that bug is still in there. What a pity. I should know how to make a piston by now anyway. Definitely done enough. It is wood on the top. Besides, we have our piston. So I need a one of these. I actually need two of these because I need one for the furnace later on. I also need a need a machine frame, which is just like that. Again, I need two of these, and I need to get some flint. I've got just enough flint. Flint and copper. And coil, machine frame, and a piston. It's a pulverizer. To go with the pulverizer, I need a powered furnace, which requires bricks. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just set up my pulverizer for now. Yeah, go out and get some bricks in between episodes. So, yeah. 
that'll be a good thing to start with. So that means I will need something to power my pulverizer. I'm just going to go simple and I got lots of options. Simple and we'll just go with a Sterling engine. It's the easiest setup. I know they're not terribly efficient, especially compared to other ones, but they do the job. So I just need some of those, those, and those. Should have made a second piston. I also need to find some reeds in order to get paper so I can make some plans of pistons pistons specifically because you make them so often and I might make two for now probably only need one I'm not sure right so I need six so two three four It's probably the cheapest engine, apart from, of course, the redstone engine. But you cannot use those to make, um, to actually power machines anymore. They they are only used to pull items with a wooden pipe. So you can't have a super cheap free energy source with them, even if it was super slow. It just doesn't work. So, sterling engines, it will have to be. Also, do I have any more glass? I think I must have used it. Let's just chuck some more sand in here. Let's cook myself up some charcoal. I like to use charcoal because it is almost identical in terms of fuel to um, coal. It's just it works. It um, what am I trying to say? It, I mean, coal is more useful later on for your. There's just so many things that coal needs that you don't need in. You don't need charcoal for. And charcoal is renewable as well. All right, so let me grab some stuff to. To start with, that. chuck it in there. Chuck my charcoal in, and of course I need a lever. A stick, coal stone, and I always use levers for powering. Don't use redstone torches because they cost a redstone to make. And I'm always about being efficient. There we go. It's going to take a while to pump up. And eventually when it does, we'll prioritize it, get to maybe a chance to get something else. So look at the recipes. Pulverizer does great things. That's what it's really good for. Pulverize your redstone ore and you get the redstone. So if you get um, silk touch, use it on the redstone. Lots and lots of things. That's another thing that's good. Sugar canes, two sugar, bone, to get six bone meal. Yeah, blaze rod, you get blaze powder. You can actually get six, or is it five? No, five from macerating it though. The iron ore, the pulverized iron. And pulverized gold. Ah, this is the great stuff. Copper gets gold, uh, copper and gold. And if that's copper, tin, you get iron. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. Very useful machine. It is really going to take a while with this. So much assist engine. I will definitely be improving later on. Okay, so I'll wrap up the episode there. Thanks for watching.